Hi everybody, today I will introduce you to the new Pitbus Navigator uh, 1150. Uh, but before to uh, show you all the features of this grill, I will first make a short recall of all the advantages of cooking with pellets uh, in your barbecue and uh, all the advantage of buying a Pitbus. The first advantage of using a pellet grill is that you are using uh, only hardwood. It means that you will get the real taste of wood that you cannot get with a charcoal with or a gas grill. Pellets from pit bus are made of 100% hardwood only. No scent, no artificial flavors, no oils, no glue, no additive, nothing but hardwood. The second advantage is the ease of use. You just have to Switch it on, set the right temperature, and forget it. The barbecue will do the rest. You set it and forget it. The third advantage is the ease of cleaning. You just have to uh, vacuum uh, some ashes and uh, brush the grates, and that's it. Sometimes you will use a sponge to clean it up, but that's it. Why to choose a pit bus? Pit bus grills are bigger, hotter, and heavier. Bigger, you can say it. Hotter, the temperature range goes from 82 to 260 Celsius degrees, but way more if you open the searing plate. I will show you that immediately. You can go to uh, 550 uh, and maybe 600 degrees, which is the perfect temperature for searing and char grilling a uh, good piece of meat. Heavier because those grills are built like tanks. And the second reason to buy a pit bus is the five years warranty that pit bus offers you with those grills. This front shell is huge as you can see and really, really strong. And it's uh, the same for the side shelf, which is very, very strong as well. There is three accessory hooks and six accessory hooks um, on the front shelf and on the side shelf. And there is a bottle opener, of course. As I was telling you before, this grill is heavy duty. It's built as a tank. You get heavy duty caster wheels uh, on the front side and uh, great wheels uh, on, on the back side too. Another advantage of this front shelf is that you can use it as a shelf under the grill here. So you can use it as a shelf for uh, your pellet or accessories or whatever you want if you don't want to use it as a front shelf. The cooking surface of the uh, 1150 is huge. As you can see, you get three main grates here, which are uh, enamel cast iron grates and uh, one upper level grate, which is in uh, enameled steel. The cooking surface is 7,470 uh, square centimeters, which is about uh, 1150 uh, square inches. Under the grid, you get the deflector. On the deflector, there is the searing plate. This searing plate, you can open it just by pulling this arm, and then you will get a direct access to the flames. So when I was telling you that uh, the temperature range went from uh, 82 until 260 uh, Celsius degrees. Uh, when you open the searing plate, you get a direct access to the flame and then the temperature will raise to maybe 550, maybe 600 degrees, which is a perfect uh, for uh, searing, for grilling and char grilling uh, on a real good piece of meat. So just one more thing about this grill. Uh, this is the upper level grid. If I don't plan to use it, uh, I can just hang it on some hooks here on the front side of the grill. It's perfect. Two more things that I need to show you. The first thing is the smoke exhaust system that is adjustable here. Okay, and the second thing is the uh, hopper clean out uh, system. 
If you plan to not use uh, your grill for a long period or if you just want to switch the kind of uh, pellet that you use to get a different flavor, a different wood taste, you just have to remove this plug and let the pellet uh, sink. Uh, so you can collect it uh, in a bag or uh, in, uh, in a bucket. This plate is here just because you can buy a cold smoking unit. It's an accessory, so you can buy it separately and uh, it will add a cold smoking unit, a very large box uh, on the side uh, of the grill. So this is the control board of the Navigator 1150, here the power switch, here the prime button that lets you put more pellet at one time uh, in the burner by uh, speeding up the odor, here the P-setting uh, that, that lets you uh, custom control uh, the smoke in smoke mode, here two uh, plug holes for you to plug the two meat probes that are provided with uh, with the grill, those meat probes are great to uh, to control the temperature inside the meat. And here the dial uh, that lets you uh, choose the temperature that you want. So when you start the grill, you still always have to uh, to switch to smoke. It starts and then here you can see the actual temperature, 26 degrees inside the grill, the P setting, the P4, that, that is the default setting. Um, my advice is not to, uh, to change it because the, the barbecue is working great like that. And here the two uh, meat probe temperatures. So when I plug one meat probe here, automatically you will see that the temperature uh, is shown by uh, the computer. Now I will choose the right temperature, the target temperature, let's say uh, 25, two and, uh, and five, 205 degrees. Um, that's it. The barbecue will heat up until two and, uh, 205 degrees. There's one more thing I need to explain you is that on a pit bus you can do anything. You can smoke, braise, roast, uh, grill, char grill, uh, sear, you can make a pizza, make pastry. It's an eight in one cooking station. I hope you appreciate uh, this uh, video. Thank you for watching. See you.